So Seinfeld is one of Jerry's girlfriends. She has a solo show coming to San Francisco called Reclining Nude on La Cienega. All right. Kind of a right. must see. All right. Did you please welcome the fabulous Jan Karam? Let's hear it for Jan. Come on now. It's just such a treat to be in a public park with so many people gathered, with people gathered all together who aren't homeless. It's awesome, unbelievable. I can't believe it. I'm in shock. Uh, uh, plus, I recognize some of you from Plenty of Fish. Hi! <laughs> it's Modesto. It's Modesto Maniac 67. Hello. He lied. Hey, two kinds of relationships that don't work no matter what. Long distance and close by. <laughs> I worked out today. I had a very strenuous workout. I was sweating and everything. I'm still, I didn't go to a gym or anything. I just tried jeans on all afternoon. <laughs> and the sales girl goes at the Forever 21, she goes, that looks really good. You should get it. And then her, her uh, coworker comes out. Yeah, you should totally get it. And they're all going, get it, get it, get it, get it. There's always one manager, a gay manager that works there. He goes, don't get it. <laughs> and I was trying on a bathing suit and I look out and I, I'm like, look in the mirror. I'm like, oh God, I can't buy this bathing suit. This is, looks terrible. And the sales girl says, uh, well, uh, the, the fluorescent lighting is really unflattering. <laughs> like the sun's gonna be dimmer. <laughs> I stay up late every night. Lately, I stay up watching MSNBC every night till three in the morning. You too? Yeah, because I'm trying to memorize my opinions. <laughs> People say whatever you want, you have to visualize it. Have you like Oprah and Dupac Chopra? They say whatever it is that you want, you have to visualize it. Like you want a big house, a lot of money. If you want to live in Marin, <laughs> you gotta visualize it first. Well, that's a bunch of crap, that visualized stuff, don't you think? I mean, I don't visualize what I don't want, and I have that. <laughs> so I, wait, hold for playing. I audition a lot because I'm Middle East, I audition for Middle Eastern parts because I'm Middle Eastern. Yeah, yeah yes, it's the new 40. <laughs> I'm Syrian and Lebanese, so I hate myself. But, um, Hispanic people, they don't want to play the part of a janitor or a maid, you know, in movies and TV because it's demeaning, it's a negative stereotype. But I would gladly take those roles because I'm tired of auditioning for the sympathetic wife of a terrorist. But he's a good provider. Please don't take my husband. I know he is ISIS leader, but he has a good heart. He has a very good... His sweetheart! His sweet... Where are you going? Like anyway, yell go. <laughs> Thank you. I learned that from my mother. I wonder what it was like for Melania. I thought. I wonder what it was like for Melania when she first arrived here in the mail. Did she come with the flood pumps? I remember when they first met. She was in her twenties. That orange tornado when he first asked her out. Did she think to herself, well, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> and then it happened, and it's the worst for all of us. Remember when they were rocking down the runway and, and he went like that and she went, don't get up, pussy. <laughs> she should install a bear trap because he's always grabbing. <laughs> Guys like to grab, what? Don't be so forceful. You're like, I'm not being forceful. Arr! I went out with this one guy, uh, I called him Steer Guy. Uh, he would put his hand on the back of my neck and steer me everywhere. The restaurant's this way, the car's over here. Okay, we're going to my place now. Like, stop steering me! <laughs> he has a new girlfriend now, they're much more suited for each other. She's in a wheelchair. <laughs> hey, when I would date an 
ISIS leader, I would, and think that I could change him. An ISIS leader, I could change him. I don't care if his beliefs are entrenched in centuries of religious fanaticism. I am not breaking up with him until I get him to wear a tie. All my friends are like, Jan, I can't believe you're going out with Ahmed Malahara. He's crazy. You no, you just don't know him. I went out with one guy. I called him Random Rage Guy. We went to, to the gas station and he goes, I'm just going to go put some gas in the car and I'll be right back. He goes out to the gas pump thing and the, the nozzle won't come out of the stupid fucking piece of shit. God damn it. Fuck. 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 Ah! Woo. He gets back in the car. How's my girl doing? <laughs> oh, your girl's okay. She's just uh, looking for her pepper spray. You guys are awesome crap. Join me on the phone, get down a nice hand. She puts a lot of work into this.